In the College of Engineering at the University of Toledo, we recruit a graduating class, not a freshman class. We fully expect students that are admitted into our College of Engineering to graduate as engineers in the future. And we have surrounded our students uh, with an ecosystem that fosters success. We have a lot of different opportunities for our students to succeed both in the classroom as well as outside the classroom. We are really focused on the entire educational process from the moment they step in the door in their orientation class to the time they leave through their senior design courses. We want to make sure not only that they understand engineering in terms of academic and theoretical aspects, we want them to get the practical aspect. All of our engineering students, uh, as part of their curriculum, they are required to participate in a minimum of three semesters of co-op, giving all of our engineering students at least one year of work experience in their chosen field of study. And we have uh, placements all over the world. We, at any point uh, in the year, have somewhere between eight and ten co-op students here. What they do is immediately uh, uh, connect with activity that relates not only to their major, but with real work that we need done here. Employers want people that have that on-the-job experience. Um, a lot of my friends that just went through four, four and a half, five years of school straight, never co opt they can't find jobs, but almost everyone at the University of Toledo when they graduate has a job lined up. Many of our students uh, will end up getting job offers from the companies that they do their co-ops with. If a student does all three co-op rotations with the same company, that company essentially had a year to interview that student. We are highly dependent on UT as our hiring base and have been very, very pleased with the result. We don't only want our students to have engineering background and theoretical aspects of engineering. We want them to be engineers in the real world. They take um, theoretical courses in engineering, all engineers have to do that, but we also try to associate that with practical experiences. Because we have the job experience integrated, a lot of our curriculum focuses on teaching the most up-to-date methods and giving the most up-to-date tools because we're about to go into the workplace and use those. And so that was something that I really saw stand out from the program because I was co-oping with 40, 50 other interns from all around the United States and they would interview me and ask, well, do you know how to do this? Well, yeah, we, we do that at our school normally. Traditionally, all engineers uh, have to do a design project to show that I'm an engineer, you can build something. And so the second semester of a design project is that aspect, actually building and designing and getting something to work. The first semester is spent on the problem of should I build it in the first place? Is there a problem or a need that I'm addressing with this particular design? So we don't want our students just to worry about the technical aspects about design, we want to worry, worry about the business aspects as well, and the marketing aspects, the social aspects. We have uh, a facility called the Nitschke Technology and Commercialization Complex, which is an incubator for startup companies. So if we have a uh, faculty member on UT's campus or a student that has an idea that he or she would like to take to market and start their own company, they can use the incubator uh, to get their company off the ground. The university is very focused in helping faculty towards the commercialization. It tries to facilitate the connection between faculty and industry so that they can start joint ventures uh, going after commercialization, going after new products and new inventions. If you look at the companies today and in in what they're looking for in the skills of students that are coming out of college, it's much higher than it's ever been. And a student can be very good at their engineering skills, but as a CEO, what I'm looking for is somebody that has the leadership capabilities engineering college here really benefits and cultivates the leadership through the Engineering Leadership Institute uh, by really making, helping students become uh, and utilize their full capability and, and all of their skills, not just their academic skills. We want all of our students to be successful and to go out there and, and do great things and outreach activities are, are very important to try to educate uh, the public, uh, you know, whether they're prospective students or you know, if they're uh, a kindergartner, on really what engineers do and, and the contributions that engineers make to our society on a daily basis. It is great to teach a young person, bring them here, have them see that engineering is actually a lot of fun and there are actually a lot of women and minorities and it is a diverse population. We recently have uh, Women in Science Day of Meetings that we brought 100 high school girls from the Toledo area 
to the university to learn about engineering, to learn how they could flourish and how much fun they can have in engineering. One of the things that we promote very heavily here in the College of Engineering is for our students to get engaged, to actually get involved with, with the college, with the university environment. And in the college we have uh, approximately two dozen different student organizations that our students uh, can join. This is a great opportunity for our students to network with one another, but it's also a, a great opportunity uh, to, again, take what they learn in the classroom, what they learn in the labs, and, and actually apply it to, to a real world problem or a project. The mission of Engineers Without Borders USA is to complete sustainable projects in developing nations. So examples of projects might be um, water delivery system in Africa or building sustainable latrines in Southeast Asia or building a bridge in Central America, which happens to be what we're doing right now. It not only benefits the communities in the developing countries, but also benefits our society because we are training responsible engineers. This is truly about improving the human condition. Our job is to really take this young adult and making them responsible citizens so they can contribute to the world in a very effective way.